Hello, welcome back to Geography with Justin. In this video, we will be discussing map projections. The biggest challenge in making maps is shape. The earth is a sphere while paper and screens are flat. Over the years, cartographers have developed different techniques to represent a 3D earth on a 2D surface. Here are the three standard projection surfaces for making a flat map out of a spherical earth. The first is cylindrical, which is like rolling a sheet of paper around the globe. The second is conical, which is like projecting onto an ice cream cone. And the third is azimuthal, which is like balancing a sheet of paper on top of the earth. Each one of these projections is useful depending on the type of map that is being made. The aspect of the projection refers to the placement of the projection surface relative to the earth. A normal aspect is in line with the earth's axis. A transverse aspect is rotated 90 degrees so that it's perpendicular to the Earth's axis. Finally, an oblique aspect is anywhere between the other two. The combination of projection surfaces and aspect has led to many techniques for projecting the Earth's surface onto a map. As you can see from the examples here, they range from the familiar to the downright strange. On the top row are some examples that you may be familiar with, such as the Mercator and the Winkle Triple. And then further down are some that are probably a little bit less familiar, such as the leaf informal, which is a triangle shape, and the waterman butterfly, and the dimaxian, which are a little bit more out there. No matter how good a projection is, it will always have distortion in the size, shape, or both. The Tissot indicatrices are a way of visually representing the distortion of a map. They are named after the French mathematician who invented them, in the example on the left, the distortion is lowest at the equator and increases dramatically towards the poles. The example on the right shows a map with poles that are flattened. Here are a couple examples of cylindrical projections. Most of you are probably familiar with the Mercator projection as it is commonly used in schools in the US. This map was created for sailors, so the straight lines are correct, but there's considerable size distortion near the poles. It appears as though Greenland is about the same size as Africa, when in reality, it would fit inside the Sahara. The Gall Peters projection fixes the size distortion, but distorts the shapes of the land masses. Conical projections such as these are a little less common for worldwide maps. They are more common for land masses that are wider than they are long, like a map of North America or Asia. Azimuthal projections are probably even less common as can be seen from the examples, this projection is not useful for showing the whole planet. However, it can give highly accurate representations of a hemisphere, as is evidenced by the orthographic example on the right. I would also like to point out that the azimuthal equidistant projection is the one used as a symbol of the United Nations. The projection a cartographer chooses depends on the area that is being mapped. North America is a very wide continent, and so a conical projection will create a more accurate map. South America, on the other hand, is much longer than it is wide. A cylindrical projection, such as the Mercator, is perfect for this map. That's all for this video. As always, thank you for watching Geography with Justin. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel below. Thank you.